nearly as old as I look. Been that way ever since that night, when my hair turned white. Just recalling that evening makes me shudder. At night, well, I was driving home from a party on near Ridgewater on this little road that leads to the big highway. It's pretty dark and winding for at least 10 miles, bumpy and curving through a forest so thick that the branches keep scraping on the sides of the car like they were trying to keep you from getting away. Suddenly, there's somebody in the road right in front of me. I jammed on the brakes and stopped just in time. There was this shivering young woman. She had jumped into the middle of the road as if she could stop a car just by holding up her hand. She asked me if I'd drive her home. She looked so cold and miserable. I let her in and even threw my white jacket around her because she was wearing a thin silk dress without even a sweater. Well, we started off for our house. She just sat there, looking all worn out like she had used up every bit of energy she could spare. She told me that she'd been in an accident, that her car was a wreck. We talked for a bit, though she didn't say much. It felt like I was talking to a ghost. After more churns than you would believe, we pulled up in front of a tiny little cottage with all of its lights on, like a Christmas tree. Please ring the bell and see if my mother is in, she said. Come, I'll show you where it is. I heard a noise, so I looked back. She was gone. I went to the house to make sure she was okay. I knocked on the door. The woman who answered looked like an older version of my hitchhiker. Before I even had a chance to speak, she said, don't say a word, just come this way. It all seemed very strange, but I followed her anyways. We came to a little private cemetery and stopped in front of a grave that looked newer than the others. The woman pointed to the grave and said, my daughter. She was killed in an automobile accident last summer, and every night, some stranger brings her home again. I was terrified. I turned away and left her there, but not before I noticed something sticking out from the gravestone. I ran to the car and drove back home as fast as I could. I discovered that my hair was white, pure white, the same color as my jacket. That's what had been sticking out from under the gravestone. The same as when it was first dark. 